We got a futon frame off of a guy off the Facebook Marketplace. It fit van perfectly. Um, two couches in our one van. And got it going. I'm super happy. Way relieved. We're one more step closer to actually getting out and driving this thing. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God. We now have a bed plan for it. We're Lewis and Chelsea. We've spent the last five years trying to achieve the American dream. We bought a house, renovated it, had a wedding planned, and wanted to settle down to have kids. Then 2020 happened. Our wedding was canceled, we reevaluated our lives, and realized that we needed to make a change. We decided to downsize from 1,600 square feet to about 80. That's right, we bought a van. We plan to turn it into our dream home on wheels. Subscribe to follow our journey while we book source and work camp across the U.S. Okay, so tonight's late night task is installing our bed frame. We got a futon frame off of a guy off of Facebook Marketplace. We had my dad, Greg, modify it. He welded everything. He like cut pieces and made it smaller at the end so that way it fit the van perfectly and now we'll have two couches in our one van. We'll be able to sit out looking out the back, we'll be able to have extra seating looking in towards the van and if we just don't want to lay in bed and we just want more couch area that's super convenient so why not? We needed a platform anyways, why not make it a movable one? What's going on everybody? So the past few days we've been working up a storm but not videotaping too much. Well I haven't been doing that great of a job. Chelsea's been videotaping herself to take care of that door. I've been taking care of things like getting the alternator fixed and getting the van started. Our buddy Mike stopped by yesterday, gave me a hand, got it. So this is when you find your uh, friend's Snapchat that they bought a tiny house. Of course, they have to come over so we can see their tiny house and we can show them our tiny house. He bought a freaking truck. There's a tiny house on the back. So cool, Mike. I'm so excited for you. And got it going. I'm super happy. Way relieved. We're one more step closer to actually getting out and driving this thing. But today, we're gonna take care of one of the other big things we got going on, which is the fact that we don't have a bed yet. So I think we've shown you how we have a futon frame that we're gonna install in the back as our bed platform. Chelsea came up with it, it's a really sweet idea and I'm really happy that it all came together. So what we need to do is mount the bed to our van. I didn't exactly plan to have this sort of thing in the vehicle. I thought we were gonna have a platform that sat closer to the, the window frames. So I put some framing back there to help support it. Well, where we ended up putting the frame is nowhere near where that support is. So we had to come up with a different way to take care of this issue. So what we came up with is having these two by fours that we attach to the wall that the bed frame will sit on, like a cleat. Now we have those on the wall I'm going to support it all the way down to the floor so all our body weight of being on the bed will transfer to the ground of the van so that way we'll be supported. As you can see here we have our cleats on the walls. I'm going to cut out the piece of trim work that I put in along the floor so that way I can have a vertical 2x4 on the wall going straight down to the ground. I'm going to get that out with my oscillating saw.
Okay, I got the first piece cut. I wanna do a test fit. It's really important for these to be super tight just cause we don't want any air gaps so that our weight's gonna fall. We want it supported all the way through. So I cut these to be really snug. Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah. Right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now I gotta make three more. I'm gonna give them a nice sand and get them ready so that they can be painted. It's looking like something. Alright. So, I got everything all sanded up. All these 2x4s are nice and smooth. They'll be ready to get painted up and they'll take the paint real nice. What I'm gonna do now is mark out where all my cleats on the wall are. So that way when I take them off, I can get them back in the same spot. And then I got some liquid nails I'm gonna apply to the back sides of all of them and screw them in and start building my legs off of that. So guys, I did a thing. I got our futon brackets on the wall. Earlier today I came out here and slapped a quick coat of paint on these. Uh, get them white like the rest of the walls and now I just bolt the uh, brackets up onto them. So I'm gonna go grab the bigger sections, get those hooked up and so I can measure out where we need brackets on the walls and how big those brackets need to be. Also we gotta measure for our foam pieces and get our foam ordered and get that to the appointment. Yay, this is awesome. We have a bed just not put together. sketchy because well it just looks sketchy it isn't sketchy at all nothing's wiggling the only wiggling that's happening is right in the brackets which you're not gonna be able to stop that which hey what do you want man this is awesome I'm pretty happy with this check this out threw all my weight on it not a care in the world this is awesome all right now I gotta do some measuring the whole reason why I'm putting this in here right now, and it's not quite ready yet, is we need to make four brackets, one for each corner, so that way it can help support this, this big platform. Uh, that's why I am have these two by fours in here right now. 
if I didn't have these, it would be wanting to tilt back and forth. So I got that all measured up, and now I'm going to measure to see how big of a mattress we can get. And get those measurements all ready to go and get everything set up so Chelsea can pick it up on Friday, hopefully. Yeah, sweet. Something else that's pretty exciting is I put up the end of the brackets for our futon. We had four more that we had to get made. These ones are going to hold the front and back edge of our frame. Since we don't have a solid support beam coming across, we ended up going with these little pieces of metal that we made into L brackets, and those are going to help support our weight. I'll show you what we got. So all this is is a piece of 10 gauge steel that was bent into an L. These are 2x2 two two squares. I notched out the back side of 2x2 two two, so that way the piece of metal can be sandwiched between the wall and the piece of wood. I went through and just slapped some screws in it and it is looking good. When I face my... <laughs> we got this face... We got a futon frame off a guy off of Facebook Marketplace. Thank you. I got our mattress uh, frame bracket, futon bracket. Let's do it again. So guys, I did a thing. I got our futon mat, or 